All right, so we'll do a quick setup on the Trezor cryptocurrency wallet. First thing to check, make sure that these seals look factory sealed. <laughs> you never know truly, right? But just make sure that they look good. Now let's go ahead and open this up. And here is what is inside the Trezor box. You see a couple stickers, cable to plug it into the computer, and the actual wallet. All right, so I've showed you what the wallet should come with when you're unboxing it. Now, let's take this funky little sticker off. The protective cover, it's always nice. And go ahead and grab a extender, or you can plug it directly in. I'm using the extension cord, USB extension cord, so I can show you guys. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and plug this in for the first time. You guys read what it says. Not really. All right. Welcome. Please visit Trezor.io to start. All right. So let's go ahead and type that in. Trezor. All right. Let me make myself a little bit smaller so you guys can see this. So it's going to give you a few little details of what it's saying about the recovery seed, how the pin works. We can go ahead and skip that. We're going to go directly into this. This will make it a very easy way to access the wallet. So it's installed time firmware. Yes, install. So now it's actually installing on the device, if you guys can see that properly. Okay, so now it's asking us for us to reconnect the device. So what we'll do is very simply unplug it. Plug it back in. All right, now you're going to get to set up your label. All right, so now let's go ahead and label your device. So I'm just going to label it. Trezor. Now it's also going to prompt you on the actual device for your pin. Now I'm going to enter this in secretly, obviously, because I can't tell you guys. Okay, so now what it will do is when you're setting up the pin is it will actually change around the pin numbers on the device so it can kind of try to confuse you, let's say. Um, but it's a good little security feature that it will change up the location of the numbers on the device so you can keep the pin number in your head but it might be changed um, somewhere on your actual device. So go to the recovery seed setup. Now make sure never to take any pictures of this. This is your key. Make sure not to lose it, all right? So go ahead and make sure you write down the first word. I'm not gonna show you guys my first word. I'm not gonna show you guys any of my words, but make sure you write down all the words. Don't take any pictures, hand write them down and put it in a safe spot. Now it's gonna tell you to check the seed again. Make sure that you check the seed again. Double check everything.
Once you're finished checking all your seed words, you can click finish on the treasure. So now it's going to prompt you to enter your pin in again. So enter in your pin. Success. You have now officially activated your Trezor wallet. All right, so now that you have your wallet officially connected and successfully activated, um, let me show you a very quick user interface. <clears throat> so say that you want to change this from Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold or Dash or Litecoin, Zcash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. It's all right here. So let's say we went to Zcash. It's going to load the settings for the Zcash. Now, when you want to go to your address, you're just going to go to receive. Now you can click here to show your address. And the same thing follows suit for Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Cash, or Bitcoin. All right. Well, I hope this helped, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. Minor Digi out.